Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see once again we're on MotoGP 18 for another episode of Career Mode. Um, obviously last time out we got 12th place in Qatar and for our first, well, our debut race in Moto3. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna check this out, yeah. So we're just gonna head into Argentina now. Right, so we're in qualifying now. Uh, I shall leave the setup for now. I shall soften the bike up a little bit because this truck's got quite a bit of a uh, change of direction. And this should hopefully make the bike feel a bit nicer. So we're gonna we're gonna head out for our first run now. Right, so starting our flying lap now. 49.6, I think we probably go a bit quicker than that. Right, so that's second lap done. 49, uh, 48.9, sorry. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit and see where I fall to. So with 15 minutes left, we're still 9th. So I don't know why my bike is muddy. I think I went on the grass before I came into the pits. Because I ran in hot. But I didn't crash, so it's important. I'm going to head to the track, actually. For... for uh, well, actually, it's a second run. And a third flying lap. Oh, we've gone wide. That's probably ruined our lap already. But this is probably going to be our final lap in the session. Because I don't want to spend too long. We seem much more competitive than at Qatar. So if we've been fighting with the top five or something. We've got to get a good start though. This time. Right, so I cut that little flick so I had to do a new flying lap. But this is going to be our last lap of the session. Right, so I did it again. But this is definitely going to be his last one this time, even if I crash. So we're on the back of a bit of a train. We've dropped down to 13th now, so we do need to probably do another lap. Oh, boom. Nice one. Well, it's just a Dalaport crash, but he's literally just going to the pit lane, so not sure what's gone on there. But um, yeah, we just improved quite a bit there. I actually just did a fastest uh, last. Oh crap! Where am I going? Just did a fastest last sector, so I'm gonna head into the pits now and end the session. So we're only 0.9 off this time, so you know, starting from seventh, that's a lot better of a position than last time. Hopefully, we actually get a decent start and we can run with the front guys because I, I kind of want to if we're starting seventh I want to aim for a top five uh, we've got some well, good riders in front you know, we've got Bezzecchi, Digi Antonio Bassinini, Martin, Canet I guess Dallaport is pretty good but he's not really been at the front since LaSalle so in real life I mean so but in the game I'm guessing it's going to be pretty strong since he was quite strong in LaSalle so uh, I suppose we'll see. Right then, so we're in the race, and looking forward to the start. We gotta get a decent start. See, we didn't get a very good one in Qatar, so just gotta make sure. I did all the setup stuff before I started talking. If you're wondering, I had a terrible start. Wasn't watching the lights. Was too busy making sure that I got gone up into first because sometimes it takes a couple of clicks of the button for it to actually work. We're going to sweep around the outside, or oh, Philip Ertl's at the inside though. we we'll try and get him back. Or oh, the inside of Lopez. Hold, oh, I've gone right around the outside, quite a few riders here. That's Bezeki in fifth, up the inside, a few more, I've ran a bit hot. Oh, Bezeki and Suzuki are back up my inside, but now I'm... Oh, I've had contact with Bezeki, it's not good. But we're up into fourth place, that's a decent start. See, Jorge Martin's already got a bit of a gap to me. You know, seven tenths behind third position already, so it's pretty mad. I'm struggling with this uh, right-hander. He's probably going to get me up the straight because they seem to have more pace than me every lap down the straight. I think it's because I take it how you you, just, you took it on the old games. You used to just lift in the middle of the corner, otherwise you'd run too wide. But I don't think that's how you do it in this game. But it's going to be a hard habit to break. He's passed me now. Suzuki has, so it's going to be about getting him back because. I don't want to lose another battle in this. Oh god, this is dangerous. I think I've got him though, so. Yeah, we've actually kept it this time, nice. Whoa! Digi! And Basti! Digi and the Beast have just absolutely mugged us off here. Well, I'm getting back up the inside of Basti here, and I'm not having Digi taking my fourth place off me. He's going defensive, so. We are probably going to get him here. He's moved back over onto my line. On the inside. Get it squared off. Yes, there we go. Back up into fourth.
I don't know what that noise is that I keep making as well every time I'm nearly high side. It's a bit like a weird whistle. Oh, I've been passed by Bastianini again. Oh, and Bezeki. I got Bezeki. Can we get Basti? Probably. Use the soot stream to this left. He's a little further in front than uh, Digi was last lap, but I'm still going to go for it on the inside. That's a bit closer, but got it done. Didn't have to square it off at this time because we kind of, well, we touched him a little bit, but. Right, final lap. Just one more lap to defend. Hopefully they can't quite get me. Bastianini is the rider behind. He's two tenths down, so have a look back at him. He's trying to get me the slip stream. I might be able to beat him into the braking zone, but he might outbreak me here because obviously he has won the better AI. I've run in hot as well, so it's not. Oh, they've both got me, but am I able to hold it around the outside? I might be able to get him into this left here. Well, this could be potentially dangerous. On the inside. Squeezing him. Oh, he's, let, he's just slowed down because I squeezed him a little bit. Right, at the last corner. Oh, high side. Whoa. That scared me so much. I thought I was going down then. I am so mad. But we've done it. Whew. That was stressful. That was so stressful. The dominance that the front three have is just immense. So I'll look. So we were 10 seconds off. I think that's a lot closer than we were last time. And the last person was 23 seconds off. So we were we we're about 10 seconds ahead of the last group. So we were fighting for that position legitimately. If you look at the fastest laps, it's just my pace dropped off as I uh, obviously got tired when the AI didn't. Which is a shame that they clearly still haven't fixed that then. Um, is that the AI just don't get tire wear, which is annoying. But, you know, whatever. So we've moved up into 7th in the championship now, we've moved up 5 positions. In fact, pretty much everyone's moved up except Digi, because uh, obviously, I think he lost a few places when I squoze him out there. But, um, we scroll down the list, so... Fodger is the first non-point scorer. And with McPhee and that. So we've got 17 points up to 7th now, so not too bad. So we've moved up again a little bit away from um, dismissal towards first rider. So that's always good. So now onto the hub. Oh wait, actually no, it's a cutscene first, isn't there? Today's result was very positive, as you can tell from the mechanics reaction in the pit. Of course, there's still a little more to go to make the podium, but they are definitely on the right path. Right, so now we'll return to the hub and we'll see how it is. Right, so here we are in the career hub. As you can see, again, we're still pretty close to dismissal. That was a decent finish. We are now ex exceeding all of our objectives because we're now 7th in championship, which is above 10th. We qualified about... What did we qualify? 7th? So we did our, outdid our qualifying position and we finished 4th, so we definitely did our... Our race position. We beat my target of a top five. Well, no, we achieved my target of a top five. Obviously, fifth is actually the top five. So, I suppose, yeah, we did sort of exceed it. I was really hoping for a podium on the opening couple laps. But then the rear started sliding a lot. And uh, I lost touch to Della Porta. And then, obviously, at the end, you saw it was a pretty big gap. But uh, let's have a look at the bike development we have 5560 development points so now we can actually afford some stuff so I think I will go with I don't know if to give the bike more traction or more power I'm gonna give it more power because I'm gonna sort the traction control if it's not enough so now we have 1000 So you can reset it so you can go back to the other way. All right, so we have 1,655 points. So that's not really enough, but yeah, anyway, that's the end of this episode then. Um, hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. Obviously, the next episode is at Kota, which, knowing the old games that AI weren't too good at, but they could be a bit better this year. So we'll have to see. But obviously, if they're not very good, that could be um, a win for us there. Like, let's be real, they're they were dreadful so if they still are dreadful then we've pretty much got the win in the bag but um, you never know if they are actually decent then we could have a bit of a hard fight because it's an easy track to make a mistake on 
even when you're out front, so, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've already said this bit, so I'll see you in the next video.